After you have finished dialysis, we recommend flushing all lumina of the device with 10 or 20 ml saline using the pulsatile or push pause technique. 10 ml saline in 10 short boluses of 1 ml each with short pauses in between. Pulsatile flushing helps to remove deposits, drugs and fibrin from catheter walls simply because of fluid dynamics and thus prevents occlusion. Prepare the required materials on a sterile pad. Put the ampule in a position at which you can see the white dot on top. Break off the neck with a quick movement and discard the ampule's head in the sharps bin. Withdraw the complete content from the Toro Lock ampule Fill it into the vial and dissolve the urokinase powder with a gentle movement. It is essential to use a non-coring needle. Discard the syringe together with the cannula into a sharps bin. Now you have a clear solution in the ampule that you can withdraw with an appropriate syringe. For optimum results, apply the solution right away. Prepare two syringes for both catheter extension pieces accordingly. Before treating a patient, you have to put on sterile gloves. Treat the dialysis catheter in accordance with the vascular access device protocol applicable at your facility. For an effective prophylaxis against infections and occlusions, slowly instill the required volume of Toralock urokinase into the lumen of the vascular axis. Both catheter extensions must be treated in the same manner. Prior to the next treatment, Toralock urokinase must be withdrawn from the catheter and discarded according to the regulations applicable at your facility.